Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel 8 framework tutorial. This is our part number 107. Inside this video, we will see the concept of custom login and registration inside Laravel 8. So as we know that inside Laravel 8, already we have multiple options for authentication. If I open a new tab, so at the first point, we will use the same concept like for the older version that is Level UI Composer Package. By the help of that, we can generate auth scaffolding files. In the next, we will have the option as Level Using Brace Authentication. Next, we have the option as Level Using Jetstream. And inside this Jetstream package, we have two options available that is LeapWire and Inertia.js. So inside level 8 option, we have multiple options to actually implement authentication system. But inside this video, we are not going to use any of the package. Instead, we will create our own custom login and registration. So while creating custom login and registration, what are the things we need? So for that, if I open again a new tab. So first of all, we need a login page. So before that, we need a controller. So simply, if I write, let's say we will create a controller first. And that will be something, let's say, auth controller. In the next, we need a table. So by default, as we know that when we install level application so it will give a user stable migration so simply we will use the same table to authenticate our users now next we need some auth scaffolding files something let's say a login page a registration page a dashboard page so these are the pages we need so next we need to create view files let's say login.blade.php Next, we need register.blade.php, dashboard.blade.php. So these are the view files we need. After that, we need some route. It means the route which is going to open the login page, a route which is going to open the registration page and the dashboard page, as well as we need some route for the post submission data. So we need some set of routes. So inside these routes, we will have some route using get request type and some of the routes using post request type. So a step by step guys, we will use these steps to implement custom login and registration inside level 8. For this topic, we have an article over this blogging website. If I back to browser, go inside this blogging website, click on blog. Click here on this search icon and if I type custom login, press enter, scroll down and here we can see that work with custom login and registration. So simply, I will click on this article. This article is totally from scratch. It means application installation up to application testing. So first of all, we need a level 8 setup. So inside this article, we have the composer command available. By the help of that, we can install a fresh application. So what I will do, simply I will copy this command. Go inside your project folder. So right now this project is, means this folder is empty. I will open this folder into my terminal. So open in terminal. So zoom in. So right now inside this folder, we have no directory available. So what I will do, inside this folder, we will create a level setup. So the command, what I have copied, I am pasting it here. And let's say that level hyphen custom auth. If I press enter, it will take some time because installation is in progress. Now, as we can see that successfully now we have installed our project setup. Back to folder structure. This is the folder what we have downloaded and installed. So simply, I will open this setup into my VS Code editor. So here as we can see that we are getting our project into VS Code. So if I go inside this database folder, migrations folder. So as we know that when we install a Laravel application, 
by default these migrations we get like create user stable, password reset stable and field job stable. Back to article. So we have installed our fresh application. Next we need to create a database and connect with the application. So if I back to PHMI admin, let's create a database. So level underscore let's say custom auth. If I will copy this DB name, press enter database created right now there is no table inside it if i back to editor and from this setup i will open the very first file that is env file inside this env file we will configure our database so inside this env file if you search all about db underscore connection db host so here we have we need to pass the database name and for my system the PHMI admin username and the password is admin and admin at the rate 123. If I back to blog article, so successfully now we have connected with the database. Next we need to run all the pending migrations. It means from this database folder, migrations folder, we need to create these tables inside our database. So back to terminal. First of all, we need to go inside our folder called level hyphen custom hyphen auth this is the setup what we have installed so inside this setup simply i will run php migrate it's not php migrate php artisan migrate after running this command it will run all the migrations and create their associated table inside database if i back to database go and reload and as we can see that now we have these tables so in the next step, what we have to do, we need to create a controller. As we had discussed inside this slide that we need a controller. You can choose any name of this controller. So for this video, I have preferred let's say auth controller. So this is the artisan command available. I will copy this command back to terminal. And if I paste this command to create our auth controller, press enter controller created successfully if i back to editor go and reload this directory structure so we will get our controller inside this app http controllers and here we have auth controller back to article so if i scroll down here is the complete code of auth controller so simply i will copy the whole code go here remove this existing code and paste this updated code so inside this auth controller, what are the things we have? So first of all, we have an index method, which is going to render our login layout. Next, we have a registration method. From this registration method, we are opening our register view file. Means these are the two methods, which is used to render our login layout, as well as register layout. Now next, we have a post login method, this method will be hit by using post request type. It means this is a login form. Inside this login form, we will have some input fields like email address and the password. So after filling data, when we press submit button, then this post login method will be called. So inside this method, as we can see, we are getting email address and the password. We have some form validation we are checking and if the user exists, we are redirecting on the dashboard page otherwise we will go inside this login page next method inside this auth controller that is post registration this again method will be hit by using post request type when this method will be called here we have the registration layout so when we pass the detail like name email and the password to register any user when we press submit button so on the behalf of post request type this method will be called so here we have some form validation we are validating name email and the password while registering any user inside user stable also we have a property added here means a validation rule added here something the uniqueness of user it means a single user have a single email address and that email address will be unique throughout the application. 
Now next, after validating our form data, we are simply inserting or creating that user inside users table. So after registration, simply we are redirecting user to this login page. The next method inside this auth controller is dashboard method. And this dashboard method is simply going to return the dashboard layout file. So first of all, here we have added auth checkpoint point. It means this method will be called or we will open this dashboard view file once the user will be logged in. Otherwise, it will be restricted. So when we go inside this login method, it means post login. So here we can see that after checking the user credentials, we are redirecting on this dashboard route. And the final method we need inside this auth controller is all about our logout method. This logout method is simply destroying all the sessions what we have set while login user. And one more method that is create, it is just a helper method. It means this method has been called inside our post login method. As we can see here, not actually inside post login, here we have post registration. It means after validating user, here we are creating and this is the helper method what we have created inside this auth controller. So all we have done with this controller file, now we need some view files for this login layout, registration layout and the dashboard layout. So if we go inside this project setup, go inside our resources folder. So before creating any of the view file, we need a parent layout. So store, to store parent layout, we need a layouts folder. So we will create two different folders inside this views folder. First of all layouts, which will store a master layout. Next we need another folder, something let's auth. Inside this auth folder, we will put our login registration page and the dashboard page will be available at the root directory of this views folder. So simply we have created, now back to blog article, scroll down. So here we have, next we have added some routes. So before creating routes, let's create some blade layout files. So here inside layouts folder, we need to create a file something called layout.blade.php. So go inside layouts folder. Let's create a new file that is layout.blade.php. Back to blog article. So this is the view of our parent layout. So I will copy the whole code, go inside this project file and pasting it here. This is only a, our parent layout file. Now inside this parent layout file, here we have a yield content what actually we will extend from all the views files. It means when we create our auth scaffolding files, let's say login, register, inside this auth folder, all these files we will extend like layout.blade.php and dynamically it will replace this yield content. Now next, we need to create, if I scroll down, we need to create the login view. So simply I will copy the file name, go inside our auth folder. Inside this auth folder, let's create the file something called login.blade.php. It will give the view of a login layout. So from this blog article, I will copy the code of login.blade.php, pasting it here. Now next we need a layout for register view. So I will copy the file name something called register.blade.php, create inside this auth folder. Simply I will copy the code of this layout file, pasting it here, back to blog article. Now next we need a dashboard view page. So I will copy and this file we will create at the root directory of views folder. So go inside views folder. Let's create a file something dashboard.blade.php. Back to blog article. I will copy this dashboard layout and pasting it here. And the next, we need to add our routes because we have done all about our layout files. Now next, we need some routes. So go up. And here we have the section of add routes. So we need to open web.php. So go inside routes folder, 
web.php first of all we need to import our controller so we have created let's say auth controller now next we need to add routes so as we have discussed inside this slide that we need a route like for the login layout for register layout for the dashboard layout and also while submitting data from this login page register page we need few routes which is by using post request type and also one more route is for the logout so if i back to blog article i will copy all the routes go inside this editor and simply pasting it here now if we see these routes so here we have for the login when we type login into the url it will call the index method of auth controller so when we pass the data inside login layout when we hit enter it will hit this submit login route for the registration page here we have the registration layout means route when we pass any data inside registration page when we press submit so it will hit this post request route here we have the dashboard route and logout route all we have done this is overall programming of our custom login and registration inside level 8 now finally we need to test our application so back to terminal let's start development server so php artisan serve if i press enter let's open this route into our browser So this is our landing page and inside this landing page here we have the two links like login and register or simply if I type the URL let's say login this is our login layout inside this login layout we need to pass the email address and the password for login otherwise if we want to register any new user simply click on register we need to pass some details so let's create a dummy user with this name with this email address sample at melnito.com password is from 1 to 8 click on this register button and as we can see that great it means successfully the user has been registered now he or she can log in so if i back to table go inside this users table now inside this table as we can see that we have registered our first user so if we want to log in let's say that I will pass the same detail it will be sample at the rate melnito.com password is from 1 to 8 click on login and as we can see that this is our dashboard page now when we type this logout button the user has been logged out it means all the sessions now destroyed so when we want to access let's dashboard directly without logging to the user now we are not logging so overall guys this video is very precise to implement our custom login and registration inside level 8 if you want to put some extra fields while registering any user simply you need to add inside this register blade template file go inside our auth controller so go inside this auth controller simply you need to add those fields inside this validation inside this create method as well as inside our users table if you want to change instead of email address and the password login if you want to put something mobile and the password for login simply you can change the layout of this login blade template file and also the post login method so this is the overall video guys which demonstrates the custom login and registration inside level 8. So for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day.